my goodness, that was a lot. <laughs> Today we are going, I was going to say camping, we're not going camping, we're going hiking <laughs> up to Rattlesnake Ledge in, I guess, North Bend, Washington area. Um, we are picking a friend up to go along with us, and so I need to double check if she's okay with being on YouTube, but either way I'll find a way to take you along a little bit of our hike. Um, we're pretty excited, first hike of the season, we did a couple hikes last year, so excited to see some more Washington. We have our dog with us for the first time. You hear the painting in the background? This is gonna be funny. Yeah, so he's he's special. Hey, why don't we just call him up? Huh? He's got a little anxiety and he's probably needs to be socialized a little more and so we're working on working on that. So hopefully he enjoys the hike and we'll see how he does. But so yep, yeah, enjoy. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm excited to, to see it and it is gonna be 75 today. It's like 60 59 according to my watch, 64 according to the car. Right now, really pretty, so, and we have a really warm, beautiful week ahead of us. So, we're excited. Yep, so enjoy our hike. finished our video the other day from the hike um, uh, so yeah which was Monday and it's now Thursday I'm gonna get sorry different light here anyway so it's now Thursday um, but we had a really great time on the hike it was um, we haven't done a steep hike at all um, and so that was definitely a bit harder than expected but um, we all made it to the top and the views were amazing and beautiful why is my hand shaking so much sorry um, Anyway, so it was a really great day. We enjoyed it. Um, we were exhausted afterwards, I think still recovering even the next day and just haven't picked up the camera to finish it up. So like I said, it's now Thursday. It's, I don't know, like four or something, I think. Yeah, about 4.30. So um, we pretty much just been cleaning today, doing a little bit of rearranging. Um, we just want, need a little bit more seating. So we rearranged a little bit. See that open spot over there? Um, we just purchased a recliner um, off of the like Facebook yard sale site or whatever. 
So my husband's heading out to pick that up. Um, it'll only give us one more seat, but it's still a little bit better. So I don't know that we could fit too much more in here. So that's, that's what's happening there. You may have gotten a little sneak peek of some really large cages when I just said that. I don't know if you see it, saw it or not. But anyway, last time or a couple videos ago, I guess, well, one video ago because this one's not up yet or it will be when you see this. But anyway, so the last video that's currently posted talked about a project we were doing. Um, it turns out it's not gonna work out. We were trying to do it, you know, as inexpensive as possible. Um, but, and I think we spent, I think I said like right around 150. Well, it turns out in order to really do it properly, once we got everything down home and he kind of started to work with stuff, he realized it just wasn't gonna work out. In order to do the project properly, it was gonna cost us probably more like 300, which considering what it is, is still a really good deal. So, um, we are adding to our family in June, and no, I am not having another baby. Um, we are going to be getting a Great Dane. So yes, we're a little bit crazy. It's a large dog, we know. But some of our friends from Texas, um, they bred their Danes, and we're really excited, and he's super cute. He is, oh goodness, I don't know. I'd have to look at my calendar again. I don't know, four weeks, six, four, six, four weeks maybe. Anyway, he'll be 10 weeks old when we get him towards the end of June when we're out in Texas. So um, what we were making was a very large, and I'm gonna kind of bring you over here, but it was gonna be like a large double kennel. So we have a lab mix rescue dog um, that we had for, I don't know, two years now or so, that we, um, a little over two years, so that we got from the Humane Society in Texas. And he's not huge by any means. He's just your average, I guess, you know, lab-sized dog. But, um, and so what we were gonna do was make a, like a double kennel out of wood and rebar um, for both dogs to be in. And we have this um, wall back here that was just gonna be perfect for it. And like I said, it just, so when we looked them up online, um, they sell these kennels, these custom made wood kennels with rebar and everything. They sell, they, well, the double one that we looked at was selling for like 1300 to 1500. So really considering we could DIY it for about three, Three three fifty is really good, but it's just not in our budget right now. So, um, and another concern is um, obviously our military family. We won't be staying in this home permanently, whether we stay in Washington or not. That's you know we're still kind of deciding on that, but that doesn't matter either way. So, one way or another, we're not staying in this home permanently because it's on base. So, at some point we will be moving, and when making a custom made piece, it's always a little scary, wondering if it's going to work in the next house. So. I think just overall we decided, you know what, we're just gonna get a, you know, the extra, extra large kennel that is sized for a Great Dane, and we're just gonna do that for now. Um, and then, you know, either sell it or just have it as an extra once we finally, you know, get into our forever home and um, we decide to build a custom one, which I do still really wanna do. They're very nice, so, um, and make it like a piece of furniture rather than just these giant crates in my living room. So, so this is what we have right now. And guys, this is really funny. We got. The Great Danes, um, which we're naming him Atticus, by the way. Um, so Nico, our, our lab mix, is named after a literary character. Um, if any of you are familiar with the Percy Jackson, and I think it's in the Olympians, my kids would be probably disappointed that I wasn't for sure on that name. I know it's Percy Jackson. But anyway, my kids love that series, and so Nico is named after a character in there. Um, my daughter is a very avid reader, and as am I, so I love, I love the idea of literary character names. So we decided we had a few, um, Watson, Gatsby, I'm trying to think what were some others. Um, I don't remember, but anyway, um, we settled on Atticus for um, Atticus Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird. So, um, so yeah, so his name is Atticus. So this crate, guys, and I thought I was crazy. I was like, surely this is way too big. There's no way, this is insane. So I got online again and I researched Great Danes and their average size and nope, this is exactly what this dog needs. But you guys, this kennel is huge. So boy, you can't even like, I don't think you can really quite grasp the size of that even in the video. But you see there um, to the left, is it gonna be to the right in the video? I don't even know. The one with the pink ball on top. By the way, that's our hamster inside. That's our hamster our cage in there. But anyway, that one is for, um, our uh, lab mix and he fits great in there and so this monstrosity is going to be for the Dane <laughs> and it is huge so just to give you an idea if I come stand next to it and so yes it comes up to my chest area and I just stand here and rest my arm on it 
It is ginormous. So I think it's starting to sink in just exactly how big of a dog we're gonna have in this house. But we're really excited. Um, Nico, funny enough, when we go to the dog park, loves the Danes, always runs up to him. I don't know if he's intrigued by their size or what, but he just loves them. So anyway, so that's what our project was going to be. Um, we'll still get to it eventually. We do have a couple other projects. Um, I need some new end tables now. They were adding, um, you know, another space for the couch. So something that's gonna fit, sorry, we were going through bathing suits here earlier. Something that's gonna fit right in there. And then on this side in between the other one. So my husband will be working on that. So I'm sure I'll um, share with you a little bit of that project so you can see what he does, um, or you know, what he comes up with, what he makes. So that's pretty much it. So he's on his way to go pick up that. Um, I need to head out and go grocery shopping here shortly. Um, my daughter is babysitting tonight, so I'll be dropping her off um, out there. And then I'm gonna let me show you what my other kids are doing. It is beautiful again outside. We've, you know, you've heard we're having some great weather here. So today I think the high is 82. Um, it's sunny, it's warm, and it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you what um, my other four children are doing. Right, so. <laughs> Nothing oh, greater God. than yeah. a sprinkler no. under the trampoline. Wait, no. Okay. <laughs> you guys having fun? Yeah! yeah. Okay, my turn. I blew. Oh, yeah, we got the sprinkler going, laying up to the trampoline. Go. 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 Bathing suits are a little slow, but it'll be just okay. Okay, wait. Okay, the water is slow. Woo! Well, good job, Cal. Careful. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Nico, what are they doing? Oh, don't attack me. <laughs> Here's our, our lab mix pup. All right, so they're having a good old time out there. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be running to, now that it's almost five, <laughs> run to the commissary. We don't have anything for dinner tonight. This is the story of my life. Um, so going to be picking up some stuff for that, hopefully something easy. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much it. We'll maybe play some games or something later and just chill out. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we're pretty much done for the night. Uh, went grocery shopping, dropped Lauren off, uh, got a new chair. I think dad's claimed it. <laughs> it's a pretty comfy dad chair. We're just, yeah, we got back a little bit late to actually make a real dinner, so ramen it is. So kids are over there eating ramen and playing. What are you guys playing? Life. Oh, the card game, right? Life card game? So yesterday, yesterday you played the life board game, right? Or the day before? Anyway. No, I played the life card game. Okay, so they they played the life, um, or they're playing a card game and eating some food. The teenager back there is making some food, and I think that's pretty much it. We're just gonna we're just gonna chill tonight, and I don't know. We don't really have any plans. So. What is this stuff in the fridge for? Is it for tomorrow? What is it? Freezer. Is it ice cream? Yeah. Yes. What's tomorrow night? Cookies. Yes. So I did, speaking of, I had a request to um, videotape making pizookis. And I actually did do a recording of that. But when I looked back over, I think it was right before Jake left. <laughs> and it was a little bit depressing. So I think I'm going to, well, we'll do that tomorrow night. So remind me, tomorrow night, Kyle, we'll, we'll vlog the... I won't be here. won't be, Oh, it's the Teen Unplugged again. Well... The kids and I, little kids and I are making pizookies, so. Um, I'll still get some when I get home. Bad. Okay. I get the cookie dough with some of it. Oh, no, Jake here to steal all the cookie dough. Or the chocolate chips. What's that gonna be like? It's okay, sad. anyway, that's sad. Oh. <laughs> do you guys wanna do the ending? All right, so thank you so much for joining us today. And don't forget to. Like, comment, and <laughs> and share our videos with others you think may be interested. Thanks so much. Bye.